Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is of course the uh, rant that I will actually have about Windows 7 and uh, we're gonna actually debunk some of those comments that I've seen from people that are ignorant about computers and security. So in this day and age everybody says that they are a security expert or a computer expert or a Windows expert. But when I look at all the comments that I see here on the channel from a lot of people and all the comments I see from people all around, the majority have absolutely nothing in knowledge and they are ignorant and don't even know what they're talking about. They're just rambling whatever they think is right or whatever somebody told them. And that is even more true with Windows 7. So here we are, uh, March of 2020. Last security patches for Windows 7 were in January, which means that unless you're on the special security updates of the long-term support for uh, Enterprise, you don't have security updates for the past two months, which means that you have more than 100 security flaws that are in Windows 7 right now. And that's a huge, huge number. Um, you know, what's happening is that by chance, um, there's more security updates in the past couple of months than there were before. And uh, this affects Windows 7 security even more. And I wanted to put things straight with people saying all sorts of things and commenting here on all sorts of things. I've deleted a lot of a lot of comments from Windows 7 uh, people that you know say all sorts of things because I don't want comments of people that are ignorant and saying something that is totally wrong. The first thing is, of course, um, you know we always talk that the first line of defense for your security is being careful what you do, and that's still very important even more so in Windows 7. Also, we say, and every security and every IT guy is going to tell you, the most important thing is not an antivirus. Far from that. Antivirus isn't even in the mind of IT guys because they're, for the most part, pretty useless in protecting you. Uh, people put way too much importance on antivirus security when in reality, no antivirus is 100%, and even far from that, so many things go through without antivirus seeing anything. That relying on an antivirus is, um, you know, just wrong. If you think that, already that knowledge is flawed. You don't, you don't understand uh, technology and computers. The... Uh, Second thing that an IT guy will say that after what, you know, I just said of being careful is um, make sure your up updates are done. That will be in the top two things any IT guy will tell you. We're not talking about antivirus. And here's where Windows 7 falls into the category where it's getting dangerous. No security updates. And that is in the top of what you need to stay safe. You can mitigate, you know, have uh, the browser get updated, stuff like that. But it mitigates, but it doesn't fix any problems. And with more than 100 security holes, well, if you rely on an antivirus, you're going to get bitten. You're going to get hackers are going to, you know, steal data are going to get into your PC. Uh, and you know what? The worst part is most people that say, yeah, yeah, I don't update and I'm safe. Well, one of the security research that I read was that more than half of them, more than 50% of these people, actually are infected by a form of malware without even knowing about it. That just is there and steals data and does a lot of things. And uh, they don't know. And then they wonder why some of their accounts are hacked and so on. So antivirus, who cares? It doesn't protect you on Windows 7 now with 100 plus security vulnerabilities. Um, you know, 
the uh, if you go on the web, you're vulnerable, and uh, that's it. And using Windows 7, the other thing that most people don't think, you know, I always say how people are also are very selfish, not thinking about others. Well, in computers, it's even worse. Because people, they think, oh, well, you know, who cares if I'm infected? What, what does it matter? Well, it matters that you are now a vector of infection for others. That means you're actually helping propagate that problem. And it could be a friend. It could be family. <clears throat> Especially if you're ignorant to the point where you told all of your family or all of your friends, yeah, stay in Windows 7, you're okay. You are ignorant and you are actually totally careless in doing so. And I don't care what you think about, you know, oh, well, Microsoft pushes us this and that and it's money and it's... The world works like that in every, every way, not just computers. It's the world we live in, the way it is, the fact of life. And I don't care about your ranting about money or whatever. We're talking about your security and everybody else's security. The fact that your friends and family could be bitten, you know, you get a malware, you don't know about it, and it starts sending uh, emails to all your family saying, hey, help me. I need money because I'm, uh, you know, in jail in Pakistan or something. You know what? You think that's funny? You think they're not going to fall for it? They will because it's uh, going to be sent with your name on it. They're going to think for real that maybe something happened. Uh, stop being selfish and stop being uh, thinking that, you know, antiviruses are going to protect you. It's not the case. And anybody that still uses Windows 7 after this week's patch Tuesday, um, you know what? <clears throat> you, you know, somehow I think Windows 7 should have just shut down and you need to move on uh, because you are putting everybody at risk. And that's it. So that's my rant for today. And uh, think about it and stop thinking about antivirus protecting you. It doesn't work. It's not like that that we protect an operating system or a computer. It's not even a Windows thing. Every operating system has flaws, and every operating system can be infected, including Macs. It's not just a Windows thing. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.